automotive industry is a very important economic force in the United States as well as in countries throughout the world. The horseless carriage had its inception in Europe in 1863, but it remained for American mechanics, engineers, inventors, and businessmen to change the motor car from an expensive toy into a working machine for the average person. This was accomplished by building cars in volume, by mass production methods, and by passing the resulting savings on to buyers. American Motors is a pioneer in the automotive industry, dating back to the establishment of the Thomas B. Jeffrey Company in 1902. The 1902 Rambler was one of the world's very first mass-produced cars with 1,500 sold that first year. Mr. Charles W. Nash purchased the Jeffrey Company in 1916. He then formed the Nash Motor Company. In 1937, a merger with Kelvinator Appliance Company formed the Nash Kelvinator Corporation. The economy car was introduced in 1950 and was given the name of Rambler, revived from the early Jeffrey days. In 1954, a merger with Hudson formed American Motors Corporation. Nash and Hudson nameplates were later dropped and production was concentrated on 100 and 108 inch wheelbase Ramblers. The compact car revolution was underway and by 1960 all U.S. auto manufacturers offered compact models. Now, many auto industry contributions were made by American Motors and its forerunner companies, such as the rear deck to carry luggage and spare tire, the fifth wheel to make tire changing easier, first sedan and coach type bodies, first counterweighted crankshaft, rubber mounted engines to absorb engine vibration, fresh air heating and ventilating systems, low cost air conditioning, and the first to offer seat belts. American Motors pioneered single unit construction, reclining, and individually adjustable front seats, adjustable headrest, aluminum window frames, curved glass side windows, deep dip rust proofing, and the double safety brake system on United States cars. American Motors purchased the Kaiser Jeep Corporation from Kaiser Industries in 1970. Famous for its line of four-wheel drive utility vehicles, its history dates back to the famed stagecoach builders, Overland. As one of the largest manufacturing corporations in America, with annual sales of more than $2.6 billion, American Motors employs about 28,000 people worldwide with 18 plants in the United States and Canada and 23 manufacturing assembly plants and licensees outside the U.S. and Canada. Among other company facilities in Wisconsin is the National Parts Distribution Center in Milwaukee, a body plant in Kenosha's lakefront plant, a proving grounds west of Kenosha near Burlington, and our main automotive manufacturing and assembly plant in Kenosha, which contains engine manufacturing and assembly, stamping and body manufacturing and assembly of American Motors automobiles and one of the largest assembly lines in the industry. Corporate headquarters are in the American Center, a 25-story office tower located in Southfield, Michigan, the Technical Center, Amtech, housing product development, research, styling, and related activities is located in Detroit, Michigan. Plastic components are produced by Everett Products, a wholly owned subsidiary, as is Holmes Foundry, Windsor Plastics, Mercury Plastics, and Wheelhorse Products. Electrical wire harnesses are produced in Coleman, Wisconsin and Iron River, Michigan. Our manufacturing and assembly plant in Brampton, Ontario has produced Jeep vehicles as well as passenger cars. The Jeep Corporation is located in Toledo, Ohio. AM General, with plants in Indiana, is the largest producer of postal delivery and tactical wheel vehicles in the world and is a leader in the production of electric powered vehicles. 
American Motors signed an agreement in 1979 with Renault, the French car and truck manufacturer, which includes automotive sales activities in the United States, Canada, and parts of Europe and South America. A new family of Renault cars will be built at the Kenosha plant starting in 1982. American Motors is an influential economic force internationally as well as one of the largest private employers in the state of Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, the Kenosha plant covers about 6 million square feet, employing some 10,000 people. The engine division produces engines for our automobiles as well as for our Jeep vehicles. Engine blocks, which are received from our foundry, are machined and assembled. Every engine is run using natural gas and all necessary adjustments are made before it begins the final assembly process and is then conveyed to the assembly lines for installation in the automobile. In the Kenosha stamping plant, parts are pressed out for assembly of the automobile bodies. For rust prevention, one-sided galvanized steel is used in 100% of all exterior metal and in most interior sheet metal. In the body division, welding of the sheet metal begins. Parts become panels, panels become sections, body shells are formed until completion of the unitized body. Completed bodies are deep dipped for further rust protection before the prime and then the finished painting. Special trim is added, such as decals, vinyl tops, and two-tone painting. In the body trim department, thousands of components are added, such as all the electrical wiring harnesses, headliners, windows, and hardware, instrument panels, windshields, all interior carpeting, and trim panels, completed seats and cushions, and even pinstriping. During this process of body assembly, factory Zbart rust proofing is sprayed in critical areas as still further protection against possible rust. Our manufacturing division is also producing parts such as the pinions and the undercarriage drivetrain and front suspension assemblies are completed and conveyed to the final assembly area. The entire operation of manufacture and assembly is coordinated by computers and a broadcast system. When a customer places an order for an automobile through our dealer network and selects colors and options, it starts a chain of events which is very complex. The dealer places the order through his zone office for processing. Zone then forwards this to Detroit for further processing, screening, and preparation of the order, which is then sent by the data center to the plant in Kenosha. The car building order is received by the Kenosha data center and related information forwarded to distribution, planning, and other related departments for scheduling and ordering of vendor parts and orders for building of the vehicle. It must be determined how many engines, undercarriages, types of vehicle bodies, and vendor supplies must be built to fill projected orders. When the completed body, which has been built to customer specifications, enters the final assembly system, the broadcast system sends information to the related departments so that the specific engine is put on the corresponding conveyor hook to meet the right car on the final line. The same broadcast system and car building order information assures that the right color and type of seat meets the body in the trim department. The coordinated steering column assembly, proper wheels and tires, and the engine meet the automobile at the right time during final assembly. And as you can see, all assembly is done while the conveyor is moving, including the joining of the drivetrain to the engine and the entire unit installed in the body as it proceeds down the line. Testing and inspection are continual processes throughout all phases of manufacture and assembly for quality control, as you see here on our final assembly test rolls. 
Although product demand will create variation, the time a customer places an order with a dealer to the completion and delivery can conceivably take from 10 to 14 days depending on special options. American Motors is committed to building quality products using the best engineering facilities possible on the latest manufacturing equipment. Our philosophy is not just to catch defects, rather to build a vehicle as near perfect as possible. We are committed to the future and are striving to meet the needs of today's and tomorrow's consumer in an ever-demanding world.